one thing is important to realize with Donald Trump. Um, he has no concept that there is such a thing as objective truth. He doesn't know that. Truth is whatever he says it is to obtain whatever he wants to obtain. As an illustration of this, <clears throat> let me point out at one point when I designed his uh, building, the Trump Plaza Casino in Atlantic City, and we had our first meeting with the uh, authorities, and Donald wanted all his plans approved, my plans that, that I drew, uh, before he put a shovel in the ground. This was not the way things had been done there. They usually gave temporary uh, permits and then, based on the finished building, gave you a certificate of occupancy. Donald said correctly, by the way, that no New York developer would start a building project without all his final approvals. To take care of this, they had a court hearing at the, in the capital of New Jersey, in Lawrenceville, full court hearing. Um, you know, the reporters were there. It was a very big moment, and it was Donald's first real appearance on the national scene. The, um, it was very important for Donald to appear like the reluctant debutante. You know, I'll go to Atlantic City if you really give me what I want. Um, so the first question they asked him when he was on the witness stand, sworn in the whole thing, Mr. Trump, why do you want to do a development in Atlantic City? All of your real estate connections are in New York City. And he said, I really don't. He said, I have no interest in building a casino in Atlantic City. The state, by the way, was dying to get a New York developer in rather than just gaming companies. He said, the only reason I'm here is because you've got to be good to family. <clears throat> he said, our family has been friends with the Lapidus family for decades. His father was my father's architect. Alan and I have known each other since I was a kid. And he's family. And one day he called me and said, Donald, <clears throat> I've got a problem. A couple of developers had me do a set of plans for a casino in Atlantic City, and they stiffed me. They, they skipped the scene. They didn't pay me. And it's a disaster. Why don't you look at it? It seems like a decent project to me. And if you like and take it over, I can get paid. And so I looked it over, and I said, not bad. He said, okay, I'll do this, but only if I can do it my way. And so that's why I decided to do it. You've got to be good to family. I'm doing this as a favor to Alan Lapidus. I'm standing there with my eyes like saucers <laughs> and, you know, listening to this. <clears throat> and sure enough, the next one they call is Alan Lapidus to the stand. So I'm sworn in with my fingers crossed and my toes crossed <laughs> and trying to review the statute of limitation and perjury. And the first question is, you've heard what Mr. Trump said, is it true? And I said, every word is God's truth. And figure, okay, I'll burn in hell forever for that one. And afterwards, I went up to him and I said, Donald, for God's sakes, if you're going to tell one like that, let me know beforehand. And he said, Alan, I had no idea what I was going to say until the words were coming out of my mouth. That is Donald Trump. Uh, he will do that every single time. Uh, most of the, and you listen to him on all the public stuff, the absurd statements he makes. He doesn't know what he's going to say until the words come out of his mouth. Um,